Today is a feast of Mary called the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Don't confuse it with the Presentation of Jesus which we celebrate on February 2nd. This feast commemorates an event that isn't in the Bible, but is an ancient tradition of the Church. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, here to tell you more about this beautiful feast. It's actually connected to the dedication of a basilica in Jerusalem that was built in honor of Mary in the 6th century. Though the church was destroyed by Persian invaders less than 100 years later, a feast continued in honor of the pious tradition that when she was a little girl, Mary's parents took her to live in the temple in Jerusalem. It makes sense that the new and living temple of God would spend much of her early life before Gabriel announced to her that she would be the mother of God, that she would spend so much time in the temple, which symbolized God's presence on earth. She was a living temple, who would not only symbolize how close God was to humanity, but would actually bring him close by giving him flesh. In the words of many spiritual authors, including recent popes, Mary was the first tabernacle in history, for she contained within herself the word through whom all things were made, God himself. Let's honor Mary with some words that appear in today's liturgy of the Byzantine Catholic Church. Let us celebrate this day as a spiritual feast. With great love, let us honor the Maiden of God, the Virgin and Mother of God, as she is presented to the temple of the Lord, for she has been chosen from among all the generations to be the dwelling place of Christ, the King of us all. Let us then all together cry out in joy with the angel our salutation to the woman full of grace, who is always interceding for our souls. Amen.